The folks over at Cruise Hive have been busy little bees ranking cruise lines from best to worst, worst to best. We're gonna talk about them all here today. Welcome to the Midships Minutes. I'm your Captain Corey. Let's get into this article written by Melissa Meantz, who is a juggernaut over here at Cruise Hive. Awesome work, Melissa. As always, cruise lines have been ranked with surprising results both high and low on a recent survey of more than 1,700 cruise travelers. The popular UK consumer organization, which, question mark, has ranked cruise lines with surprising results for the most popular and least popular ocean-going cruise lines. More than 1,700 respondents participated in the survey, comparing traits such as customer service, onboard facilities, cabin quality, food and drink, entertainment, and more to create comprehensive rating scores. And one other comprehensive rating, is the five stars of all the items I recommend in the Midship's Amazon store. It's a great way to support this channel while getting something time-tested and awesome for your next cruise. Check it out. There's a link down in the description below this video. Following the survey of 1,727 consumers, hey, 727, that's the uh, area code over in Tampa, Florida, which has compiled rankings of ocean-going cruise lines based directly on passenger feedback, the results are somewhat surprising, particularly with seemingly low overall scores. I, for one, am not surprised. Post-pandemic cruising is so much worse than it used to be pre-pandemic. A variety of traits were examined to compile the overall scores, including customer service, passenger space, which is a huge one and I've got a cool insider tip I'm going to share with you sometime soon about passenger space make sure you get subscribed this is something I got a great tool actually screw it let's talk passenger space right now there is a website let's just type it in here cruise deck plans I am a member a lifetime member of this site after I shared this on my uh, my midships episode years ago let's check out the carnival celebration as a paying member of cruisedeckplans.com. I have access to some really interesting information and one of those informations and one of those pieces of information is space ratio here. And this is basically the, the higher the number, the more comfortable your cruise experience is gonna be. So for the carnival celebration, we see a space ratio of 28. Now, what if we go ahead and check out, I don't know, a cool ship called the Celebrity Beyond. You can see the space ratio goes up considerably to 36. This is a remarkable tool for people who want to see just how cramped or unpleasant their upcoming cruise could be. And not to mention, not to mention, y'all, this tool. This tool is awesome. One more thing. This is this is a free plug. Cruise deck plans. I can go to any ship and see actual photos from cabins with reviews. So if you're interested, if you have if there's a weird cabin you're worried about the view, you're worried about the access, you're worried because it's near the stairs. There's probably somebody who has posted about this cabin. If not, there's probably a YouTube video that is posted about this cabin. This is Guga and Rob. Hey, I even I didn't even know I was gonna click on y'all's video, but Guga and Rob are awesome. I don't know if you've ever met them. Uh, they're based out of the UK, I believe, but you know, they've got their room tour posted on here. If you wanna check out this cabin, 7138, what's well, right here on Cruise Deck Plans. A little free, free PR for a really great tool. Let's get back into the article. More unique characteristics polled also included description matching reality, which would examine truth in advertising and overall guest expectations. Value for money was also polled, but this is more subjective. The survey was held in November of last year and asked guests about cruises they had taken within the past two years, including some of the initial restart post-pandemic sailings, where conditions were very different on board cruise ships, especially when guest capacities continued to be capped and passenger space would have been significantly skewed in favor of the passengers. That is no joke. Let's see, the highest scoring cruise lines, all-inclusive luxury lines naturally scored highest, with Noble Caledonia Ocean Cruises coming in the top spot with an overall rating of 90%, followed by Viking, Saga, Seaborn, Oceana, Morella, and Regent Seven Seas, all following in the 80 to 87% satisfaction range. Relative newcomer to the cruise market, Virgin Voyage has also scored really high at 80%. The adults only cruise line had an exceptionally high mark for the food and drink on board, as well as description matching reality categories. Let's move on to some of the more mainline cruises. Carnival Cruise Line, one of the world's largest passenger lines, rated 79% just below Virgin Voyages, which is actually pretty surprising. What some travelers might consider a higher than expected score from a cruise line that regularly receives poor attention for the exploits of some unruly guests. Yeah, that's for sure. 
Now let's move on to some of the losers, some of the low scores here from this article. Further down the chart, the lowest score surveyed surprisingly belonged to Princess Cruise Line, which came in at the very bottom of the list with only a 67% satisfaction rating. Not one aspect of the various poll categories for Princess received a five-star rating. Also at the bottom of the list is the rapidly growing MSC Cruise Line with a 68% overall rating. As with the Princess Cruises, not a single aspect of MSC was rated five stars. The same goes for Costa Cruise Line coming in at 69. Nice. It could be noted that guest responses could also be dramatically influenced by factors well outside any cruise line's control, such as poor weather, personal illness, or unreasonable expectations. Interesting, interesting, interesting. MSC Cruise Line is better than Princess Cruise Line, according to 1700 Brits. What do you think? What is the best and worst cruise lines? Let's do top five from best to worst. Let me know in the comments down below with one being the best, five being the worst. I'm curious to know what y'all think about these cruises. Make sure you get subscribed here to Midships as our signature Midships episode drops in about two hours time. We'll see ya on the Midships. La, 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 la.